So I got this little kitty separation in here, and I take a look at how we're going to separate that. Then I want to take a look at why the interlocking half tones and avoiding stepping on color. And we'll have more videos on this topic in the future as we build some more things into the Inkseps app. But I'll go through here. Do I have any magenta? Nope. I'll delete that. Blue? Obviously no. Cyan? I'm sure not. Green? I'm sure not. Now yellow, we definitely got yellow, you can see that there, and red, we definitely got red. What I'll do is I'll take the yellow and I'll merge that into the red. Take a look at the original and you can see the difference. But I'll go back to the red and I'll slide that over into more of like an orange. Then I'll look at the original. And you can see how close that is and it's just one color in black. For the color components. Now this time I'll download that and InkSteps will package that for download. And I'll get my download notification here and I'll click on that. Select OK and that'll go into my downloads folder. Then I'll go to Corel Draw, bring that up and this time I'll go to the InkSteps importer. You can download that for free from the inksteps.com website, or you can go through your simple steps if you have that. But here I'll go to the inksteps importer. That'll come up. I'll go to search, take me to downloads. I'll get my kitty zip file. That's what we're going to open. I'm going to go to import and rip. And that'll bring that in. Now, here I'm not going to interlock anything. And the reason is because I want you to see what's going to happen here. So I'll just go to halftone rip and let that process. Now once that's finished, we can see that the black halftones, which were not interlocked, are stepping on the orange halftones. Now this doesn't look very good in CorelDRAW because it doesn't render the one bit images very well. But here I can go bitmap halftone preview to look a lot better, but we can see the black is stepping on the orange. And if we bring the orange to the front, then that's gonna step on the black because it's not interlocked. Go to undo here. I'm going to go back to Inkseps Importer, search, and I'll get the kitty again. Open that, import and rip. Let that come in. Now this time I'll interlock the black halftones, but not the orange. You only interlock one of the two that are going to be blending together. So we get all of these different tints, tones, and shades of the orange and brown that are in the kitten correctly through the interlocking halftones. Because we're going to get a couple of benefits. Number one, we're going to get better ink coverage. We're not going to step on color with the black. We're also going to get better color reflectancy and also better color accuracy using the interlocking process. And there are articles in the article section on the InkSteps website that explain this. Now I can set my rip options here. I'll go with 1500 here. If I had dot gain, I could set that here. And I can also set my black settings here, but I'll go to halftone rip and let that process with the interlocking black halftones. Now we can see that the black is not stepping on the orange in the halftones. If we zoom in there, we can see they're interlocked. So the color coverage or the ink coverage is more accurate. If I bitmap the halftone preview, we can see that, I'll bring this over here, duplicate a copy there, go to page one, compared to the original RGB, and there's your halftone image with the interlocking halftone, very accurate. Very different than working with this, bitmap halftone preview, not even close because we're stepping on the dots. That's just the fundamentals, and there's some other videos where I get into interlocking in the InkSteps training series, but we can see how that works and why now. I go back with control Z, you can see that it doesn't look that good, but those dots are like puzzle pieces fitting together so that the actual ink coverage is accurate in the way in which the black and the orange blend together. As you can see there. Now that looks a lot better when you convert it to an RGB and give a little blur. As I said, the one bit images don't really look very good the way Corel Draw displays them. But there you can see I get a fantastic print 
with just two colors, actually one color component in black, orange and black. But yet, because I'm interlocking, I'm able to recreate all of these different tints, tones, and shades of the orange and the brown, etc., that are in the cat here. So just some more basics on the interlocking halftone process. As I said, there's detailed articles on the inksteps.com website, and you can review those for a better understanding of the interlocking halftone process. And I'll definitely get into more videos with interlocking in the future. We'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.